welcome to another episode on the Virtual Shelling Network. You may recognize where I'm at. I am looking at the west end of Sanibel Island. There is the bridge that connects Sanibel to Captiva, and I am here at Turner Beach. This is the new little beach that was kind of um, done as a restoration project when they filled in the beach with sand. So all of the water used to be up to these rocks, these boulders, and you can see how they have filled in with sand, and you can see on top of the boulders, um, they have filled in the beach with sand as well to re-nourish it. So, um, so we're down here on this little beach, and I just kind of hit the mother load on cat's eyes, and I always get questions about um, these, so I would like to go ahead and show you guys what they are. So cat's eyes are actually the operculum for a turbo or a turbine, either one. And this is what they look like. I'm trying to stay out of the sun here. Okay, so this is what they look like. They're flat on one side and they kind of have kind of a swirly, kind of, kind of looks like a shark eye in a way. And then the other side is gonna be shiny and it kind of has like a look like a cat's eye. You can see like the little kind of pupil, that dark right there. And this is the way that they sit in the shell. So the dome side is out and the animal is attached to the flat side. Okay, so I just have this balancing in here. It's not alive. So I'll flip it over so you guys can see the flat side. You see that? But that's how it sits. Um, on the shell like that when they are alive. So I'm gonna show you guys how to find them. And let's see, here's a cute little, I gotta grab this little orange scallop really quick. It just caught my eye. I know I get distracted with the purpose little orange scallops. You guys know that, look how cute. They look. Okay, so I happen to find this little area. Usually where you find one, you'll find more. Um, it looks like there's a little piece of an alphabet cone right here. And you can see right away, we've got like four of them, five of them in frame. So we have one here. Oh, here comes the, the waves. Here's one. Here's two. Here's a little tiny one. Three. Oh, no! I hate when that happens. I didn't get that third one, but here's one. Here's one. Here's one. So usually where you'll find one, you'll find more. Know that, okay? So they're the type of shell, kind of like wentil traps. When you see one wentil trap, you know they're around. But that kind of gives you an idea. I love to find these. They're also called shiva shells. I grew up loving cats, so I just called them cat's eyes. That is another name for them. Um, but they're also called shiva shells as well. Hopefully on this one, you can see that swirl. Let me try to zoom in a little bit better on there. But they're really fun to find. Um, and this is a great place for them. Anytime you have a, a beach with turbos, you can almost guarantee to find their operculums with them. So we're gonna kind of just go through this little area here and see if we can find some more cat's eyes. And the tide is coming in, as you can see. So unfortunately, um, it's gonna be, this is kind of a time sensitive matter here, trying to find these little cat eyes. Here's another cute little baby scallop. Here's a little serif. And here's a little turbo right here. And there's a little cat eye right next to it right here. Okay, right there. And there's also one right here by my foot. And I love finding these. I don't know, they're just a, a really cool thing to find and to collect the trap door or the operculum. Here's another one. Here's another one. And once you know what to look for, they'll, I'm telling you, like they'll stick out like a sore thumb. You'll, you, you won't be able to not see them. So like, here's one right here. Here's one right here. See that? all over. Oh, here's a little bittersweet right here. So once you know what to find, you'll see them. Kind of like, um, kind of like hunting for wentil traps or shark teeth. Once you know what you're looking for, you, you'll, they'll just stick out and then you'll see them all over the place. And 
sometimes you'll find them here, like where the water's coming into. Um, a lot of times they'll be like washed up. Here's one that just rolled in right here. There's another one right here. Super fun, right? Can get down there's a bunch right here too i'll let you guys try to see if you can see them we've got one here one here we've got one here here i'm sure there's ones that i'm missing too another little one. Now remember the size of the trap door is determined by the size of the animal, right? So the size of the shell. So if you're finding teeny tiny ones, those are from teeny tiny little shells. And if you're finding larger ones, those are from larger shells. I wanted to show you guys um, this turbo that my husband found just now. It is huge, look at this. It is absolutely huge. So this cat's eye or shiva shell or operculum is gonna be a lot bigger, right? Like look at my, fit my whole thumb in there. So this is actually a giant turbo shell. And there are different species of them in the family of turbo shells. But the ones that we find here um, in Southwest Florida, that's gonna probably be the largest that you would find. There are some in other parts of the world that you'll find that are larger than that. You'll see those a lot of times um, at shell shops or souvenir shops, things like that. A lot of times you'll see them polished too. So they polish them and then they have that nice iridescent shine to them. Um, so hopefully this gives you guys, oh, here's a little cute little calico clam too. There's another one right here. Hopefully this gives you guys an idea of what to look for if you come to the beach and you're finding a bunch of turbo shells. And that is one of the shells we find here regularly too. You'll find turbo shells all over the island, but when you find a lot of them in one area, such as this beach, you'll know that this is where you're going to run into the cat's eyes. So keep your, keep your eyes open. Keep your cat's eyes open. There's another one here hiding in the sand. So they're just everywhere. So I'm gonna try to collect enough of these to send you guys each a cat's eye in your beach treasure boxes. This will be fun. So if you are not subscribed or you would like to purchase a single box, you can check out our beach treasure box subscriptions on our website at virtual shelling. Dot com. It is a monthly subscription shell box that we are offering right now. And the shells coincide with the episode. So I get the shells that I send out while I am virtual shelling with you. So as you're virtual shelling with me, you're actually gonna receive some of the shells that we find together. Shipped to your door every month. It also makes a great gift too. Christmas is coming up. So if you're looking for a really unique gift for a beach lover, it does make it really fun to have uh, shells shipped to your door, beach treasures. So be sure to check that out. My goodness, they're just all over the place, aren't they? All right, I hope you guys uh, learned something new today. Comment below if you have found a cat's eye or let me know if you've never heard of it before and you just learned something new today. I hope you have a shell-tastic day. I'm Laura Manson signing off on the Virtual Shelly Network. I will see you guys again soon. Bye.